Blockchain is a chain of blocks. Uh, think about it as anything that we can express as a digital asset. The identity of who I am, the assets that I have around me that I might be able to use, I want to allow access to or I want to transfer ownership of, or even a contract in how it gets expressed. Those are different things that we can put onto the blockchain. What's interesting is, historically, we've had to rely on third-party institutions to do that for us. So government agencies or financial institutions or large corporations that will kind of manage the integrity, the trust, the transaction itself. And, and in a way, we've shifted that. So the protocol of blockchain is moving it from a third party into the underlying protocol, the underlying technology that's doing that for us. We call it the trust economy because behind the blockchain, it lets us do three things in a really interesting way. First is recordation. The second is value exchange. And the third is smart contracts. So for recordation, it's tracking ownership or history of an asset. It could be a digital asset like currency, which is why we saw Bitcoin be one of the first wide examples of blockchain in its adoption cycle. It could be a digital representation of a physical asset. So uh, a way for understanding history, lineage, integrity of a piece of art or uh, a will. The second is value exchange. So the transfer of ownership or the expression of allowing usage of one of those digital assets that we recorded it in the first place. And the second is we can actually do something with it. We can trade it, we can share it. The third is smart contracts. So actually embedded in the ledger, the rules of how usage would actually affect conditions being met and value being exchanged. In healthcare and life sciences, blockchain is a way for us to think about the electronic medical record and bringing together health plans, providers, medical device companies, even consumer products companies, and allowing the patient being in the center of allowing all the information about them, their care, their protocol, their health, their wellness, their behavior, all of it to be brought in one place where the patient can decide where it can and should be shared. So one of the great things about blockchain is it's secure. So the advanced computer science and cryptography are making sure it's encrypted, access is controlled to only those people that I want to be able to access the history of the pieces of my identity that I want them to have access to. It's also immutable. It can't be changed. It can't be altered. It can't be tampered with. So it can be verified and it can be trusted. And I know that whatever is on the blockchain is what should be on the blockchain. And it's the truth. The future is coming and it's coming faster than we think. How do we take advantage of blockchain, build upon trust economies and reimagine the world around us?